Okay, so today we're making magnetic slime, so you're gonna need black iron oxide and neodymium magnet and Elmer's goo or liquid starch and Elmer's glue. So a quick overview of the steps that we're gonna do for this project. We're gonna take the Elmer's goo, take a big glop of that, probably one scoop with the spoon, put it into the mixing bowl and then take our iron oxide and take two scoops of that, put that in with the Elmer's goo. Then finally, we take our neodymium magnet and see if we've made magnetic slime. For our first step, we're gonna take Elmer's goo. We're gonna take about a handful of this goo. Look how pretty it's galaxy colored for this case. It breaks off really easily, so we just want a palm full of that Elmer's goo. So just knead your slime a little bit, then we're gonna put it in the bowl and wait for the next step. All right, so for our second step, we're gonna unpackage the iron oxide. And this is a dangerous chemical if you breathe it in, so make sure to wear a mask during this, if you choose to do so at home. So first we're gonna take one scoop, put it into the bowl, and then take one more scoop and add it with the slime. Okay, so for our third step, we're gonna knead the iron oxide into our slime, and don't worry if it looks like Oreo cookie crumbs at first, it'll be solid black in a minute. It also helps if you wash your hands after kneading the slime and before playing with it. This helps to make the slime less sticky. Also, if you choose to do liquid starch and Elmer's glue instead of Elmer's goo for this experiment, your slime may end up too gluey, which means you need to add more starch. And if it's too stringy, you need to knead in a little more glue. Also, iron oxide is not good to breathe, so please wear a mask. Okay, so for our fourth step, congratulations, you made magnetic slime. It's time to put our magnetic slime to the test. Is it really magnetic with this neodymium magnet? We're gonna super stretch the slime out, get our magnet really close, and wow, look! The magnet just attracts the slime like that. Neodymium magnets are extremely strong and fingers can easily get pinched when trying to separate the magnets, so be super careful and keep these magnets away from cell phones, computers, and other electronics. Okay, so just one more part of the experiment. We're gonna take the whole glob of slime and we're gonna put it up against the strength of all the neodymium magnets. And as you can see, they're both magnetic. How amazing. One more time, wow. So just as a quick recap, we used Elmer's Goo Cosmic Shimmer in this case and combined that with black iron oxide in a mixing bowl to make magnetic slime. Thank you for watching.